Hello and welcome to another GCSE revision video. In this video I'm going to be looking at simplifying fractions. Okay, so to reduce fractions to their simplest form all we have to do is eliminate the common factors. So what we're looking for is to break down both the numerator and the denominator into their prime factors. In this case 66 is 6 times 11. Well, 6 is just 2 times 3, so the prime factors are 2 times 3 times 11. And 72 is, well, we know that's 8 times 9, so 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 cubed, or 2 to the power of 3, and 9 is 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. So our 66 over 72 is actually 2 times 3 times 11 divided by 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Well, they have a 2 in common on the top and the bottom, so we can eliminate the 2 from the top and the bottom. They also have a 3 in common on the top and the bottom, so we can eliminate 3 from the top and the bottom. And that leaves us with 11 divided by... 2 times 2 times 3. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. So our 66 over 72 reduces down to 11 over 12. OK, well, so much for the theory. Let's have a go at putting this into practice. Let's pick a couple of numbers at random. Let's say, I don't know, 45 over 54. I just reversed the digits. OK, so let's look at these numbers and let's see what we can break them down as. Well, 45, uh, that's clearly divisible by 5 because it's on, it's, it ends in a 5. So let's divide 45 by 5. So 45 when divided by 5 is equal to 9 times 5. So 45 is 9 times 5. Well, 9, well, that's just 3 squared. So that's equal to 3 squared times 5. OK, and what about this 54? Well, 5 plus 4 is 9, so that means it's on its 9 times table. So let's divide 54 by 9, and we get 6. So 54 is equal to 9 times 6, which is equal to, well, let's do the 6 first, because that's going to factor into 2. So that's 2 times 3. And then 9 is 3 times 3. So that's times 3 squared. But we've already got a 3 here, so this is going to be 3 cubed. So 54 is 2 times 3 cubed. So what we can cancel here is the 3s. We can cancel a th two 3s off here, and that just leaves one 3 here. So this is equal to 5 over 2 times 3 is 6. So 45 over 54 reduces down to 5 sixths. OK, let's have a go with another one. Let's pick a one that's a bit more complicated so we can show the process a bit better. Let's pick, oh, I don't know, 1,320. And we're going to divide it by, oh, what, 2, 9, 6, 0. I'm just picking numbers out of my head. OK, so these two are both clearly divisible by 10. So... I'm actually going to cancel these out already, because you can obviously cancel by 10. So this is equal to 132 divided by 296. And now I can simplify them a bit further. So let's take 132 is equal to... Well, these are this is clearly an even number, so 13 is uh, divided by 2 is 6 with a 1 remainder and that 1 will then go on to the, 12, the 2 to make a 12 and that's a 6 when divided by 2 so this is 66 times 2 
which is equal to 33 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 3 times 11 times 2 squared. And it's customary to put the numbers in order from lowest to highest. So the 2 is the smallest factor, and there's 2 of them, times 3 times 11. So 296 well 296 will also divide by 2 so 28 into 2 is 14 so there's a remainder of 1 because that's 29 not 28 and that makes 16, so that's an 8. So that's 148 times 2. OK, well, 14 will also divide into 2. So that's 7. And then 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that's 74. And now we've got an extra 2, so that's 2 squared. 74 is also an even number, so that will also divide by 2. So 7s into 2 goes 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6, so remainder 1, so 14, so that's 37 times 2 cubed. And 37 looks to me like a prime number. Yeah, I can't think of anything that will divide 37 evenly. So let's take that as a prime number. So what do we have? We have 2 cubed times 37. So this number is... Let's get that cubed cancels with that and that's it that's just 3 times 11 on the top which is 33 on the top divided by 2 times 37 which is 74 so our 1320 divided by 2960 is 33 over 74 let's try one more example OK, so for this final example, I want to choose one that's actually a deliberately trick question. I'm going to pick 16 over 25. Well, 16 is equal to 2 times 8, which is equal to 2 squared times 4. And that 4 will also divide by 2, so that's 2 cubed times 2. So that's just 2 to the power 4. And 25 is equal to, well, that's just 5 times 5, which is equal to 5 squared. There are no 5s in, the, in 16, and there are no 2s in 25. So they've got no common factors. So this fraction is said to be irreducible. In other words, it's already in its simplest form, so there's nothing we need to do with it. OK, I hope that was helpful, and I'd like to wish you all the best with your GCSE revision, and good luck with your exams. <laughs>